Welcome aboard, sailors. I'm the Salty Dragon, and I'm hungry for some Dark Souls too. All right, now we're looking for the Black Knight Halberd. Not the Black Dragon Halberd, the Black Knight Halberd. It's, suppo it's supposedly easy as pie. Who wants this? Okay, we, got, we got another soul. That might come in handy later if we find anything else that we want. And we just keep going, staying close, and moving slow. This is close to the edge of the map, of the, on, hugging the left side of the fog, and we just keep going. We just go slow, don't attract any attention, and don't run until you get to the staircase up here. Now there we go. Now at this point, we already got it, pretty much, unless, unless there's some new enemies. That's, that could also be possible. Now you go up the first ramp, and under the second ramp here, is a bonfire. We gotta we gonna light that, and now we are we, we're sitting pretty. We, we are sitting pretty because we're about to get a Black Knight halberd, which is some good shit. So what you do here is you, is you jump down here, you turn around, jump in here, and there's the halberd right there. And this thing looks pretty boss. Y you know, you're gonna love it. There we go. Black Knight Halberd. And we can't really use it effectively. Uh, even now, because it probably needs, like, higher dexterity or something. But look at this thing. Look at that thing. This looks like something a king would use. It, it is beautiful. But we're gonna, we gotta unequip it because we can't really use it well. Let's see what what are its what does it cost to use? Okay, the great sword we need 28 strength, but we we can, we can get get there pretty well. You need faith and dexterity. See, uh, the hand mark is dexterity. We need 26 of that, and faith, the star mark down there, is the, um, the like the two marks down there that are red. The star is faith. And we need nine faith to use this thing. But look at its stats. I mean, it's just an improvement over freaking everything that we have right now. But, uh, and eventually I do have, I, I did eventually have, intend to have a faith build. Okay, what's that? We want to test out our great, our, uh, not, not our great sword, but our claymore. First thing that we're going to do is unequip everything. Now we're going to equip the long sword in our off hand and this beautiful claymore in the other hand. And when we get back, we're just going to boss around. Hey, we're going singular with this. Oh shit, look at you. You beautiful bastard. Holy crap. And it's got that nice stabbing stabbing move. I love that. I love the thrust. The, thr the thrust move. We, we got wide sweeps and we've got narrow corridor action. It's beautiful. Uh, the parry is really slow though. But I, I like a slow parry. Uh, I, I will eventually learn to use that parry more efficiently. I probably need more agility or something. And that's the heavy attack right there. Oh yeah, this is definitely more my style. And this enemy is probably way too strong for us right now. But you see, we get super armor when we're using our attacks. And that's super, that, that's really important. But oh yes, oh yes, I'm gonna upgrade the fuck out of that thing. But now, what I wanted to do this whole fucking time is to go back to Hyde's Tower of Flame and take on those Hyde Knights. I got a perfect spot just to do that. And we're gonna duel 
using this beautiful, beautiful weapon that we just picked up. And we're gonna kick their butt. Watch me die like 60 times. Uh, I killed one Hyde Knight. And they don't, they don't give enough uh, souls to justify the, eff the amount of effort that it takes to actually kill them in, in any way. They, they just don't. Okay, if we wait here, there'll be a Hyde Knight that, that comes by. You can't see him because the giant's so fat. But, uh... And we're going to lure him over here. And then we're going to duel him. See, here he comes. They're much heavier than they look. Okay. Hey, take note. And yeah, they still do a fuck ton of damage. They use the heavy attack for a far more efficient strike. There we go. Papa used his flask. And... Hey, we actually made a giant flinch. That, that's something. Okay, now we're gonna draw out that hide knight again. And we're gonna have, we're, we're gonna perfect the art of dueling these guys, because this is really good practice for PvP. Because Hide Knights, they're tough. Okay, I'm gonna try to get him to attack. And he did. And they're smart, but not smart enough. They're too close to the edge. Ah, he wasn't close enough to the edge. I thought I could knock him off. Hey, hey you, hey you. Come get me. Come get me. Bitch. He's being a bitch. Alright, here we go. Oh, man. I mean, look at those water effects. Them some good water effects. You know, I'm, I'm rather satisfied. It's far better than Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Those water effects were awful. Okay, we instantly got his attention this time. He's feeling cocky. Yeah, okay, we're, we're using that range. Okay, you see that? He stood completely still in that particular stance. Okay, we want to experiment and learn the reach of this weapon because it's got reach. We don't have to get right in their face to hit him anymore. He's tricking us. And we can't get too close because he can do that. There we go. Yeah, they can turn. They have, they have so much uh, chasing potential. Okay, watch out. Here we go. Cause that hits super fast. There we go. And there's an execution. Oh, damn. I didn't realize that they evaporated. I mean, I killed one before, but I didn't see the death animation. And it was all, it was all tricky. Okay, with these guys, we're gonna use lighter attacks. We're just gonna get behind them. Not too far behind him. Damn it! Oh well. 
Thanks for watching, sailors. You can help me burn cancer in the description box below. Join my crew if you're hungry for more, and I'll see you all in the next one. Sail on!